Hi, this is Chelsea from Talk Nerdy to Me. I had an inadvertent book haul today. I went to Barnes & Noble with pretty much intent to just buy Hellbent and Ninth House because they have those limited editions and it sounds like something that's really in my wheelhouse. Dark Academia, being able to see ghosts. I went and bought it because they're the sprayed edges and they're the limited edition Barnes & Noble editions. So as I was wandering around, as you do in Barnes & Noble. It just takes you on a journey. I went to the manga section with really good intent to restart reading manga. I picked up this book and it's not a manga. Remember on my other video we were talking about Dongwa, which is one of my other new favorite things, which is Chinese version of manga. And I found this gem and it, you know, honestly I picked it up because it was like the prettiest thing that I've ever seen. It's called The Abandoned Empress. Um, and it's literally the be most beautiful cover like I've ever seen in my life, if you can see that. Um, the silver, the beautifulness, it just has like so many details. And if you open it up and look, it's obviously, it's in full color, which is also gorgeous. And I was just, I was just honestly here for it. I looked it up, I looked up a little bit about it. It's about the main character, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, Arista La Monique. She was prophesized to be the future empress and she was raised her whole life to be such and then some bee just just falls through the ether and takes her place i guess the guy who was supposed to be the new emperor is a real a-hole and he just randomly chooses this other girl that falls through the ether to be the empress and he ends up beheading her apparently and she gets reincarnated as her 10 year old self and as her 10 year old self she says she knows all the past things of her life and she's like I am not going to put up with this d-hole again so she is able to make other choices she's able to see like a bunch of new hotties um, that she's into she also is trained to be a knight anyways I am a thousand percent here for it again it's called Manwa, not Dongwa. This is Korean, Korean versions of manga. And I'm obsessed with it. I am, I intend fully on getting the entire series. Hopefully this won't take me terribly long to get through. I've been through and into a ton of stuff actually that I'll probably do another video about because it'll get really long. I picked up a thing on web, thing called Webtoons and I'm really obsessed with Lore Olympus. Anything to do with Hades and Persephone. I'm 100% there. They also have a thing called the Dragon Queen King. Dragon King. And it's free, it's amazing. The Lore Olympus lady that does it was actually published. So I don't know what you would really consider that. I mean, it's in the manga section, but it's not really a manga, but it's upset. I'm obsessed, I'm here for it. I'm just really going down that rabbit hole. So I intend on covering a lot. As far as manga goes, I only picked up and intend on covering one because I watched so many animes that I just like couldn't get in, you know, I wouldn't have time to get into all the mangas for all the anime that I watch, if I'm being completely honest. What I picked up is Chojin. It's by Suishida, who did Tokyo Ghoul, which is like my absolute Roman Empire of manga. This is by the same guy, kind of a similar concept. And they turn into like these evil things called Chojins. I, I haven't quite finished up to book four yet, but when I do, I will do a review on it. Other things I got from this haul, I'm currently reading the Shepherd King duology, which me and my best friend are absolutely obsessed with. I'm almost done, I'm halfway through. And when I finish, I really wanted a palette cleanser because it's a, it's a gothic theme. Uh, I just wanted something really fluffy and cute. I saw this, uh, a, f a fragile enchantment, and I'm obsessed because look at how cute this is. This is gonna be like a perfect fluff palette cleanser. I guess she has magic powers. She imbues it into the clothing that she makes and she falls in love with this prince. It just, it's just so cute. I'm gonna eat it up. I haven't been on the spice train lately and Katie Robert, I love Katie Robert. I'm really basic. Again, going back, circling back, Hades and Persephone, anything that has to do with that, I eat it up, the whole, her whole series. This one is about Eurydice and Charon, who is in the underworld with Hades, and I'm just absolutely gonna eat this up. I might just have to get around to it and be in the mood. The other fluff book I got that I found today is so cute, and I really 
I have to tell you that I'm obsessed with indigenous authors, especially Hispanic, Latinx. I try to pick up and grab anything I find by them and I found this today and I was just so excited. It's called The Sinner's Isle. It's about witches that have powers. This is a pirate prince. They fall in love. People are trying to steal her powers. It's just a perfect fluff. I heard it's so good. And I try to really cover things and books people don't hear about often that don't get a lot of love. Please look at this. Please pick it up. Angela Montoya, Sinner's Isle. Just gonna eat it up. I just know it. Like I mentioned, what I originally went in for was the Ninth House Hellbent. Du it's not a duology because she's doing more than one, more than two books. But anyways, just look at how gorgeous this is. Look at how beautiful and pretty the snake is. It has the red sprayed edges. It's a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. Once they were sold out, they're gonna be sold out. So I just grabbed them because I know me and my best friend were gonna just plow through this someday. And the sequel to that's Hellbent. Again, Barnes & Noble exclusive, black sprayed edges. We'll plow through this, we'll get to it. We're just finishing the Shepherd King duology. Please like, comment, share. Check out Talk Nerdy to Me. We're doing a ton of different stuff. If you're not into my stuff, you're gonna be into one of the other guys' stuff. I guarantee you there's a place, there's a something for a review you'll wanna see. Check out the store, check out us, like, subscribe, talk to me. I reply to all my comments individually. I really like to chat with people. Tell me what you're reading. Tell me what you're going to read. Ask me for a suggestion. Ask me for an anime. Ask me for a manga. Ask me for a dogwa. Ask me for whatever you want. Uh, ask me for ask me for a slime. I mean, anything you want to know, I can probably do. It's